Hello, hello, hello. Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, back to you again with another reading. This time it is on James Charles. So James Charles has been canceled again for the millionth time. Now, I did a reading on him a couple of months ago. I'll put a link to it up here. And I went really easy on him because every time I do a reading on him, there's always tons of fighting and chaos. And I held back. But this time I'm just going to say it how I see it and that's it. And I'm not going to go super in-depth with everything. Y'all already know what's going on. If y'all don't know what's going on, Google it because I'm not trying to stir anything up. So... Uh, I'll just say that this has been my biggest fear all along, and I'm disappointed. So, I'm going to just leave it at that. So, remember these readings are all legend for entertainment purposes only, and let's get started. Oh my god. Not the James Charles is over party. So in my last reading, I still see a friend betraying him. And I think that's going to have a play in this because there's one more hit coming to him. There is a one more hit coming to Mr. James Charles. Oh my God. I pulled a King of Cups water sign energy. Okay. All right. Well then. I already know how the comments are going to go. Y'all do not fight in my comments. I swear do not fight in my comments. So, um, the world is reversed, which is the ending of a cycle and the completion of something. The chariot is about moving forward and the six of wands is ego. Here's what I will say. The behavior is going to have to stop. <laughs> um, and the chariot is about like, progress and moving on but the six of wands is ego so i do still think that his ego is still large um i definitely think he's gonna have one last issue with his ego and how big it is um the five of pentacles is upright the stars reverse and the hangman which means there is someone in his life i think it's a friend that tried to nurture him and teach him right from wrong and that person is oops i just knocked into my camera i'm sorry that person is the person that i see um exposing him because <laughs> it's there again so this is a friend of james that tried to help him try to take them under his wing or maybe he took them under their wing to be honest because oh wait a minute okay because five of pentacles is my apprenticeship card but we do pull this for power dynamics and we also i also pull this for age discrepancies and then the stars reverse with the hangman so this is like celebrity or influencer and then reverse would be like an expose and then the hangman is letting go so it looks like there's somebody he works with so like to be honest with you um this could be someone that he helped bring up um that could expose him but also i mean this this could be a lot of people in his life. It's really difficult for me to pinpoint exactly who it is because he does have a lot of newer influencers around him. Um, I mean, but I mean, it could also be one of the D'Amelios too. That's why I'm like, I can't really pinpoint who it is. The only thing I can tell you is that they, I mean, I guess technically it could potentially be a water sign because uh, of the King of Cups here. But the only thing I can tell you is that this person is just like had enough they're over it like they've had enough and the ace of pentacles upright and the ace of cups is verse which is kind of ironic but this person um was never his friend the ace of cups like i was never your friend i only wanted money and status from you and when i see that the well has run dry i'm throwing you right under the bus and guess what that's your own fault sis like <laughs> that's your own fault sis like, you should have known better than to trust someone like this. You should have known better um, than to have someone like this in your space. And you reap what you sow. Um, that being said, let's keep it moving. There's an opportunity. Um, there's an opportunity so I know he lost instant influencer, but there's an there's two things that are going on. There's an opportunity that he was in the works with that is going to one of his competitors. <laughs> it's 
So like there's something that you had in the works that's completely destroyed because of this. And the three of cups being reversed tells me that whoever he was working with is so mad at James that they're literally going to be spiteful and go with somebody that he's jealous over or that's jealous over him or that has some competition between the two of them. They, this person is literally like, you screwed over this business opportunity that would have made us a ton of money and a ton of opportunity. And I'm directly working with someone that you don't like because F you. Um, so there had to be some sort of project planned here that they're going to try and work with an enemy to piss him off. He, so this is quite interesting. I haven't seen this before. Um, normally I see James supported by the, the industry, but I'm seeing a shift in the narrative to where he just ruined too many people's money. So, cause that's where I go back to this King of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. This makes me feel like there's, there's, let me pull again for this because I think I know what that is. I knew it. There's too many people. He's cost too many people money now. Now he's a problem because he costs too many people money. So the Ten of Pentacles is a total loss of money and status um, and favor. And the uh, Lover's Cards upright with the Ten of Swords with the self-sabotage in terms of a connection he shares to other people. So he 1,000%, 1,000% 1, is in trouble because he has ruined too many people's money in the industry and i'm wondering if the king of cups with the ace of pentacles is, is who i think it is as well because this is a double meaning and i'm trying to see if i can because i'm still going back here and i'm going to pull clarification in another deck but i think i know who the king of cups is so the six of swords is the internet being reversed. Um, the ten, I wonder if he's going to move too. He might be. He might move soon. Uh, the ten of wands is, or maybe like go back home or get out of LA. Um, the ten of wands is reversed. He did say he wanted to go to Texas. The ten of wands reversed in the hierophant. So that's about uh, releasing a burden. <gasps> oh, James's team is going to leave after the next video on him. So James is going to lose team members and people that work for him and stuff after the friend exposes him. Yep. Knight of Wands, King of Pentacles reverse, and Queen of Cups. So these are people detaching after some sort of aggressive act that's going to damage his career again. So after the friend exposes him, that's when people are going to come. It's kind of really pathetic to me that it's going to take this video for the team to remove themselves, but maybe he won't make the video and maybe he'll they'll just tell he'll just tell his team and they'll leave. But I think there might be a video because it looks like an exposed. I'm still stuck on that King of Cups, though. This is why I was like, maybe I shouldn't do a reading on it because I just did it not too long ago and it's going to be very similar. And it is the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, Reverse, the High Priestess. Um, to me, uh, wait. It's the same thing. It's like, okay, you screwed up my money. You screwed up the contracts. Now you're a problem. Oh my God, James. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. They set up a trap. James is being set up for, in a trap. Okay. So after this scandal that's happening right now, there are people that are going to pretend that they're okay with him behind the scenes there are people that are they're going to pretend they're okay with him there are people at like in corporations um people that he's worked with that are going to be pretending that they're okay with him but they are going to try to trap him the four of swords is reversed the eight of swords, allegedly for entertainment purpose only i think they're going to try and trap him so the four of swords is reversed the eight of swords is upright and the four of cups so that's about false attachment because that's detachment and the high priestess with the three of swords makes me feel like there's something wrong with the trust and then the eight of swords is about trapped the victim trapped cornered and the four of swords is no one feels sorry for you so i definitely think that there are people behind the scenes that are actively going to try to trap him um and test him um so i don't think james will watch this video but if he does, sis, 
nobody trusts you in the industry. And if you th have a false sense of security and that the people in the industry trust you that are working with you, you are delusional. Like this is them being like, you cost me too much money. I want revenge. That's why I go back. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. There's the revenge, the devil card. I knew it. The strength card. I'm holding a grudge. Here's your revenge. And the five of swords is pettiness, tit for tat. You cost too many people money this time. It's kind of sad that that's what it's going to take for this to happen is like people having to lose money. But that's what happened. You cost them money. And you're going to cost them money moving forward because whoever is going to make this video is going to make it harder for you. And the judgment card is reversed. The three of wands is upright and the nine of wands. The nine of wands is like walking on eggshells. The judgment card is an embarrassment. So that's a public embarrassment coming for James. And the three of wands says he's not going to see it coming. I'm telling you there is another person that is gearing up for a video. And I think that this is going to be something that changes the public narrative. I knew it. Bad luck for James. The Ace of Swords is a regretful decisions. And the Eight of Pentacles means this video is going to have a ton of effort put into it. It's 100% a hit piece. The Empress is reversed. And the Two of Wands, which means that this person does not feel sorry for, the, for him. Um, he's gotten into a fight with this person before. The Fool says they're not as naive as they pretended to be. They already collected information on him previously. Um, the temperance card is versus the seven of wands here, which means that at the time James thought that he vindicated himself with this person, but this person allowed him to think that so they could collect more evidence on him. So, it, so he's in for a rude awakening. It's like, yeah, we worked this out. We worked this out. It's fine. No, you didn't work it out. Dummy. This person literally let you think they worked it out so they could collect more on you. They've been waiting. They're going to throw you under the bus. And I, it's so frustrating because it's obvious. Two of cups, nine of cups, and five of cups. This is obvious. This is like, um, this is the beginning of the connection. And then the five of cups is the spilling of the emotion. It's like we got really close really quickly. And then what the hell happened? I'm still going back to this king of cups, this ace of pentacles, and this, this ace of cups reverse. Because this makes me feel like this is somebody with some sort of, where does... Hold on. I'm playing from a different deck. Air, Aquarius. Oh my God. Libra, Earth, Pluto, Sun. Well, I do think that there's something else going on here because this makes me think. So obviously, air is communication. Aquarius is friendship, Libra is the connection, and then Pluto is the transformation between the two of these. The sun would be exposed, the earth is with the story, like that has legs. So for me, this is this is definitely reiterating the exposed. But I also feel like um I also feel like this is Tati. So I don't know what part she's gonna have to play in all of this again, but I definitely think that that's gonna come up again at some point. I have no idea how. Yeah, because these are illusions shattered. So, I mean, given her last video, I'm not surprised that she's in here again. I don't really know what part she has to play, but I definitely think she has something. I think that she might say something. I don't know, though. I don't really care, to be honest. But um, I'm going to pull from the last deck.
Unless he has another friend that's an Aquarius. Oh my god. Okay, so I did pull Atonement, which is getting what you deserve. I pulled Parasite, and I won't cry for you. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Someone coming forward, hiding your true self. Blinded to pain. What? I think I see more people coming forward with stories, allegedly. There's a deep-rooted secret here. Someone coming forward that should have came forward before. Yep. Artificial heart. Anger in chains. Someone coming forward that should have came forward before. Hmm. Yeah, I knew it. Temple of my body is like... This is a card I pull a lot of times for inappropriate sexual things, so allegedly, so... Hmm. Well, we're going to see this play out. I, uh, I don't understand James, dude. I don't understand his behavior patterns. I don't understand it at all. I, I don't get it. I don't get how we're... This literally reminds me of Dramageddon, like... This reminds me of my James Charles tour cancel video. Excuse me. It literally feels exactly like James Charles tour cancel video that I did. It feels the exact same. It's the same energy. I don't understand. Let me pull from one more deck, honestly. I'm going to pull from the fairy deck because... My David Dobrik reading that came true. A lot of tea was spilled with this deck, so I'm gonna use it again. Oh my God. Scared to fly, the right moment, sensing out the right timing. Oh my God, I got the chills. <gasps> no! They're stolen in her sleep. Unaware, unconscious, unwa unawakened. Follow me, come. This is your invitation into the fairy realm. Adding on to an already existing story. So we have waiting for the right moment. <sighs> With Stole in Her Sleep, which to me is inappropriate. It's an inappropriate card that I got pulled in the David Dobrik stuff. And then Follow Me is like, you're in good hands and your story, it's time to share it. And other people are there. Someone who's been very quiet in solace. This is the beginning. Crystal magic is the beginning. Cry for nature, mourning for something which seems lost. This person has tremendous trauma. Trust, surrender, leap of faith into the unknown. This person has tremendous trauma. Um, they've been really quiet. I don't think they realized how impacted by the trauma they were. And Catch Me is about them finally being like, I'm just going to take a leap of faith and do it. Beauty's truth. Beauty, physical pleasure, sensuality. There it is. This is my Taylor Swift card. <laughs> Um, what if they're a Taylor Swift fan? I don't know, but, um, this to me looks like someone who's very attractive. Silver Sisters. That's weird. Time to take protection from toxic thoughts and energy. Silver Sisters. It's weird that they look alike and there's twins on this card. Ek 
Okay, I'm ending this reading. If you guys like that, uh, make sure you subscribe down below. Uh, link to my PayPal down below if you'd like to tip. Uh, follow me, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Aphrodite. Until next time, bye.